Welcome to the Ask an Aggie podcast, where we're exploring the ins and outs of college life here in College Station. We want you to have the best college experience you can, so listen in as we dive into relevant topics that will help you navigate this new and exciting stage of life. Well, hey guys, welcome to the Ask an Aggie podcast. We just wanted to kind of do an update. Um, a lot of things have been changing because of the coronavirus, and we just wanted to come to you, uh, bring some information, um, and just uh, share about what's going on. Yeah, so uh, not the most fun podcast that we've yeah, gotten to yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. Um, coronavirus is real. Our country is still um, reeling from it, still trying to respond to it appropriately, safely, in the best way for everybody. Um, and so, but this morning as we were sitting here talking, um, Asher, you kind of gotten some emails and started yeah. looking into, and so it kind of set us off into this episode. So tell the uh, listeners, what did you learn this week about your upcoming fall? Yeah, so I just found out uh, today, um, the day we're filming, is, is today is July 6th, yeah. and, and so uh, they released new updates uh, for my class schedule, and so every single one except I have one class that will still be in person. Um, one class in yeah. person. Everything else is... Everything else got, got moved to online. 100% online. 100%. Um, and then I'm going to be in Rudder Tower, which I didn't even know they had classes in. Um, and then, of course, like all of my times got moved. I um, got Friday classes now, which, I mean, like, I mean, the real world has Friday sure, work, sure. you know, so it's like not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, so everything just kind of got moved. Um, and I, I'm pretty frustrated about it. Um, a little upset. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how did you find out? Did they email you and tell you, Hey, this class got moved to this or was it a surprise? Yeah. So, happen? um, I didn't expect any of my classes to get moved. Uh, we got, uh, notification on uh, the 29th that basically said like, Hey, this is, you know, on the sixth, like you're going to be able to see a lot of the classes are going to be changed. Um, and so I figured, you know, I'm in, you know, upper level classes, they're gonna be very small classes. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't expect anything to happen. But um, every single class was affected, um, except the one class that I was signed up for that was online by registration, okay. like it was you set already up. knew it was. Online. Yes. Um, but everything else did get shifted. Mm -hmm. And so basically today, um, I just had to go in on my own to Howdy, uh, click on the My Schedule tab and figure out, um, you know, what the differences were. So if you have already registered, if you've gone through New Student Conference, you've registered for classes, you probably need to get onto Howdy today, right now. Yeah, I, I think I went back and reread the email that it, it said almost every single class will be changed in some way. Okay, so get on Howdy, go this Howdy portal, go to the My Schedule tab. Yeah. Figure out what your schedule looks like. Now, we did read on, I think it's, what is the website? Uh, so uh, tamu.edu slash coronavirus. Yes. It's just where you're going to get all the, the That's updates. That's going to be the place, the the hub. Um they did say that they will finalize the schedule. So theoretically, on July 6th, it could still change before yes. July 24th. And yes. so this is your tentative, what you assume is yeah. going to happen. Um, and But on July 24th, the schedule is going to kind of solidify. Yeah. It's going to be cemented. And then we don't know the rules necessarily. Yeah. We don't know if it's seniority. We don't know um, how they're going to do this. But on the 27th, there's going to be an allowance for schedule changes. Mm -hmm. Um. And so just kind of mark those things on your calendar. Yeah, for sure. So if, you know, especially if maybe you're a student that's only got one class here in, yeah, in town, yeah. it may be worth not doing. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. So w that's not a discouragement to no, yeah. of not wanting you here by any means, but just the reality of a lot has changed. Yeah. Um, and then I even noticed they're going to require you just as a heads up. If you don't have a computer, you have to have a computer this yes. Fall. Yeah. Um, and so more details on that are on AM's website yeah. as well. There's even some maybe some financial aid that yeah. can help out. Yeah. Um but just I mean, you're starting your final year. Yeah. Um just how does it hit you? I know you said you're frustrated and I just saw it coming from you, but Yeah, yeah. So I mean I, I am frustrated um because you know, in a sense like I I pay to come to AM mm -hmm. and so like it, it does really hit me like I'm paying to take classes from my house sure. that like I only live in because I go to A&M. Sure. And so like, there's a lot of frustration. Like, and yeah, I'm paying this. rent for one class. It, yeah. It's kind of, you know, hits me. Um, but yeah, going into my final year, it, it just has hit me with like a lot of uncertainty um, with my plans uh, going on next mm -hmm. year. Just like, okay, how many of the plans that I'm already preparing 
Sure. Like how many are going to stay in place? Well, what, what is my, you know, next year going to look yeah. like, um, post grad. And, sure. and so there is a lot of uncertainty that hits as well as just like, you know, some actual like legitimate, like sadness, like, Oh man, like this is not what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is not, you know, coming back to church is my always, always my favorite thing. Like in the fall, like some of my friends aren't going to be there mm. or, you know, we're not going to meet, you know, some people that we could have met otherwise, sure. which yeah. is, you know, really disappointing. Yeah. Um, it, it's just a hard reality right now that we're yeah. sitting in. Um, you know, <clears throat> last week we saw Fish Camp moved online. Mm-hmm. Impact moved online. Yeah. I got an email this morning, uh, MSC Open House, which is a way for you to get to know organizations and different things in the uh, city got moved virtual. Yeah. Uh, you know, and this all piles on top of incoming freshmen who had their graduation canceled yeah, or moved back and done very differently, who missed the last six weeks of their school, who have really struggled through this. Yeah. Um, and so I think my message to them um, is that we are doing our best to continue to hope. And we, we say this not to beat you down with it, but this is just the truth. Yeah. Uh, our hope is placed in our God, um, mm. and uh, we aren't demanding you by any means to listen to this, yeah. you know, but this is what gives us hope every day, that our God, even though the situation and the experiences of our life right now are pretty terrible, that our God is in control. Mm. Uh, we throw out a word, sovereign, that He is ruling and reigning. Yeah. Um, and so that gives me peace, mm. even when I'm disappointed, um, and you know, we hope that, um, you experience that as well. Yeah. And I mean, I know that personally I, I'm a little bit upset right now. Mm. Um, but I also know that all these things that are changing, uh, don't surprise our God. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's not surprised by this and he's in control of it. Mm. Um, I don't know my plans and sometimes that can even be a good thing uh, yeah. because it's forced me to be dependent sure. on God. Um, and so, yeah, we just wanted to share that bit of peace. Um, we know things are changing, and we know things are hard right now, uh, but we are here, and we are for the class of yeah, 2024. Uh, we know how hard this is, um, but we can't imagine the situation y'all are walking into. Um, so we just wanted to come in and give some information, give some updates, and give a little peace. Uh, and we'll catch... Yeah, go ahead. I want to jump in before you uh, sign off. Yeah. No matter what the situation of how everything operates, here's our promise to you. Mm. We're committed to you. Uh, we are going to be creative as we can to reach you, yeah. to connect with you, to uh, to help you in every way that we can, physical, mental, spiritual, yeah. all of those things. Um, and so we are brainstorming now to do whatever we can. Yeah, and uh, that's not just a promise from Ask an Aggie, but yeah. from First Baptist Church at College Station. Yeah. Uh, we are here for you. So, well, yeah, thanks for listening. Not yeah. a fun episode. We yeah. promise to... <laughs> To bring back the juice um, yeah. <laughs> coming up, but we just needed to step in today and uh, just share on recent events. Yeah, we'll catch you later, guys.